Okay, so for this watercolor demo, um, I just have the watercolor paper like I gave you guys in your packet. I have a cup of water with my paintbrush and I have a white crayon um, and my watercolor paints. Okay, and I'm gonna show you this really cool uh, just step-by-step -step painting with me. Uh, you can always pause this video um, to catch up um, and then restart it. But I hope you enjoy how to paint this landscape with me. Okay, I'm going to start with my white crayon. And I know it's really hard for you to see in the video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off center a little just because I don't want it to be everything in the center. And I'm going to um, do a circle. And I'm probably... I'm trying to do a perfect circle as best as I can and I'm coloring it in and I'm pressing pretty hard with um, the crayon. I'm not doing a very large circle. It's a bit smaller than a dime. That's what I, the size I'm doing. I make sure that I got it really well and hopefully, I know it's hard to see. Usually I would draw it in there first, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with crayon. So. I have that on there, okay? And um, then I'm going to wet my brush and just do wet on wet, okay? I'm going right over where I did that crayon and a little bit above, okay? And it's pretty wet. I did tape my paper down. If you're at home, you can do that. If you're here, I have tape you can use too. Okay, I'm gonna then dip my brush into water and I'm going to get some water in my watercolor. I'm swirling it around so I get a lot of color in there. It's not just a um, tiny bit of water. It's a lot of color that I want in here. So you can see it's pretty wet there. And then I'm gonna go into this. It's wet on wet, so I'm going into this right over the crayon. I'm also gonna wet my brush and go into some orange too. And if you haven't guessed already, we're going to do kind of like a sunset kind of thing. Um, so a little bit of orange here and there. I'm letting the paper do its thing because it's wet on wet. I'm going to add a little more water to the top here. Okay. And as it goes up, I'm going to add more orange up here. And I'm also gonna put some red in there because I wanna add some red. And again, it's wet on wet, so the paper's starting to blend all that in. I'm gonna put a little bit of red here and there where I want it. And this is just up to you how you wanna do your sky. I'm gonna do a little bit more orange down here. Okay, I'm gonna bring some yellow back down here. And then I'm gonna go back and do a little more orange down at the bottom. I haven't really done the wet on wet at the bottom. I'm just using the wet watercolor because I want the bottom to be a little bit more controlled. Um, the top is like swirling and, and going into each other very nicely, but I want the bottom to be a little more controlled. Um, and I am putting some red, some orange back down on the bottom. All right, okay, then I'm gonna wet my brush again, and I'm gonna go into um, a darker color, and you can mix watercolors. I'm going into purple, and I'm gonna put it out, out here on the lid. So I'm going to purple and get some on the lid here. I'm gonna go into it with black and put it in here, because I want a really dark purple color. So all I'm doing is mixing the colors there. And then all I'm doing here is um, doing kind of this dark purple. And in a perfect world, if I wasn't doing a, a 
demo, I would let this dry so that it's not bleeding into it, um, but that's okay. I'm going to and do this here. And when you're doing mountains, there's a whole bunch of different uh, shapes of mountains. It's just not all peaks and valleys. So <clears throat> there's a bunch of different shapes. Doesn't always have to be the triangle shape that you're used to. Okay, and then I'm coming in with a little bit darker color and I'm putting that in the front. So to make it darker, I'm just adding more watercolor. Okay. And I'm just trying to let this dry just a little bit so that it stops bleeding um, into the sky. If you're at home, if you have a hair dryer, you can use that. Um, okay, so I used a, a hair dryer just for a minute and um, dried mine a little bit, but you guys just can wait a few minutes and then it'll dry. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing more of that color that I did for the mountains, and I'm going back into it um, and adding some more definition to the front mountains. We have some that are in the background, like a back range, but um, I just wanna add some more definition to the ones that are in the front. Um, you don't have to do them all. And you can also, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue in mine too because I want to um, have some differentiation between some of my mountains. And what that's going to do is going to kind of look like we have um, some fogginess going on in the mountains behind there. We have some lighter, we have some darker, um, and that's going to help um, the mountains pop out just a little bit. Okay. When I'm doing this after, when I'm doing a little more detail work, it's a little less water on my brush because if you put more, it's going to start to take it back off and you don't want that. You want a little more color, a little less water on your brush um, to create this um, nice effects on your painting. All right. I'm also going to... Uh, in a perfect world, if I had more time, I would continue working on that. But I'm rinsing out my brush a little bit, and I'm going into um, the red color and a little bit of brown. And I'm just going to do a couple of little clouds in the sky here. Okay, and the reason I'm doing them red and brown is because it's uh, kind of a sunset, you know, so um, they're kind of reflecting the the sun here and you don't want these to be huge you can have one that kind of goes right across your sun here and that's why we did the crayon there just a couple of clouds here and there uh, if i was bob ross you could do happy little cloud here or there Yeah, I might put one up here, a little larger on the top. Happy little clouds, happy little clouds. Okay, so, and I also then used the hair dryer once again and dried mine off just a little bit, okay? And now I'm going to if this was completely dry, hopefully mine is, I'm gonna go into it with Sharpie. And you can use a fine point or an ultra fine. And I'm just gonna add a couple of birds in my landscape here, okay? And to do like long distance range birds, it's kind of like a wide V um, shape. 
but you want to be careful for them not to look like bats and you don't want to put too many okay so I just did a few so that is our mountain sunset landscape that just took a couple of minutes with watercolor um, you can if it were mine that I'm working on, I would continue to refine everything and make everything beautiful. Um, but um, that's how you can get started and do a really quick landscape with watercolor. Hope you enjoyed it.